Is there something? You there? Hello? Oh, I see you now. What's up, everybody? This is Ayat, and welcome back to another video today. Uh, this is going to be kind of a vlog, kind of a rant. Now, <laughs> the title is called Frustration. Now, before we go into the video, I wanted to say that I am not personally making this video to personally talk about my feelings. Uh, I was just... I was making this video just to talk about uh, some thoughts that I've had recently. Um, I feel like having thoughts and just recording it and then putting it out into a video is just such a nice way to, you know, just it's like it's like you're ranting, but I don't have anyone to rant to. None of my family probably wants to hear me rant about random stuff. They're probably busy with their lives. They are busy with their lives. So I'm not going to bother them with that. So me just talking to a camera, it's a nice way to... I mean, YouTube is my creative outlet. It's where I experience. It's where I display my creativity and my personality to the world, and yeah. So YouTube's my creative outlet, and YouTube videos are where I. It's my emotional outlet. <laughs> anyway, the title's video is called "Frustration." Dot. 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 Now that's not really a clickbait title because I am going to be talking about emotions and whatnot, but it is a pretty clickable uh, th uh, title for a video because you see your favorite YouTuber uploading a video and it's titled frustration dot 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 you're probably thinking what's wrong with my favorite youtuber oh my god this is terrible well one i'm probably not your favorite youtuber and if i am thank you and two this it's not really clickbait because i wanted to talk about just like i said emotions so frustration what is it it's something that everyone's experienced at one point or another and it sucks have you ever just like let, okay let me use this example for any gamers out there You've been playing a game for like an hour and you're trying to beat the last boss and you get so close to the very end but then you keep dying and dying at the very end and you get so close every time but then you just, you suck so bad and it's the worst experience in the world and then you get so frustrated that you, you feel sadness. You go through the five stages of grief while playing a video game. Um, you get so frustrated with dying over and over again that you end up wanting to cry. And that, honestly, fr frustration to the point that you want to cry is one of the worst emotions that anyone can ever feel. Because it's like, it's mental torture. <laughs> but at the same time, you can't stop playing. And then you keep playing, and then you keep playing, and then you finally finish the boss. And then your heart is pounding so fast, and it's insane. What I just described was an experience I had while playing Helltaker. Except minus the part where I actually beat the game. Because in that game, I got so close to beating it. And then I died at the last second. And I just gave up because I... You know what? I don't... I, I was playing for like two hours that game. You can go... I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Because why not? I, I like the game. So you'll probably like the game. Um, I just... <laughs> I had to quit at the end because the boss... The last boss was too hard. And I, like I said, I was getting frustrated. So... I didn't necessarily really want to cry, but I was getting I was getting really emotional. And honestly, whenever I'm playing a game and I'm starting to find myself not having fun or getting so frustrated to the point that I am uh, experiencing sadness in any form, I usually I usually call it quits because a video game shouldn't invoke those emotions. Um unless you're on the um, the like the thing is, video games, you can be at that point, but you can still keep going because you feel like you're so close to doing it. But sometimes I'm just like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. For all the pain I'm experiencing right now, it's not worth it to go through another bit of pain just to get a small reward. And usually when you've, when you've been playing a game for like an hour or two, and then you finally beat the last boss, usually the reward for beating the boss is not as good. It doesn't make up for all the mental pain that you are experiencing while dying over and over again. I don't know, those are just my personal experiences. I also wanted to talk about some other stuff besides... Honestly, I also wanted to mention that we're all human, so we all experience emotions, and I don't think it's very healthy to lock up your emotions. Just saying, that's just a little a little ad additional thing that uh, holds up 100%. Also, sorry, you can hear my fan. It's just that I, it was really hot in here, and I, I, I need a fan to be on right now. Thanks, fan. 
Also, in the news, I'm going to be getting a haircut very soon because my hair is not long, but it's kind of messy and hasn't been cut since like October of this year. The last time I can remember getting haircut is um, before I made my one year on YouTube video, my 200th video, fun fact, that I made back on October 25th. You can go watch the video, it's still up. Uh, it, was a it, was, it was a decent vlog. Um, but that was pretty much the last time I cut my hair ever since then. It's just, been, it's just kept growing and growing. Honestly, I've always felt like my hair has grown quite slow compared to a lot of people. Because it's been like like two and a half months since I cut my hair. And my hair is still not super long. But it doesn't matter. I'm still going to cut it because it's messy, like I said. And being, being um, cleanliness is next to manager managerliness. Also in the news for my Discord server, I got custom emojis. So yeah, you can go check those out. They're pretty fun to play around with. Also in the news, if you're wondering where my Minecraft series is, it's not dead. Don't worry about it. There's three episodes you can go watch it for my single player at least. I also upload. I also uploaded an episode of Bed Wars where I played it with um, Newbie Raccoon Four or Seven Five and Ender Bucket. I still talk to them. I can make another Bed Wars video with them if you want. It was a pretty fun video to record. And I hope it was fun for you to watch, but it was an hour long, so I'm not sure many people watched the entirety of it. But yeah, it was really fun, And but Minecraft single player is what I'm talking about. Uh, it's not dead. Uh, I was actually playing it yesterday, and I had gotten diamonds for the first time in a while. And honestly, if you play Minecraft for like an hour, you'll get diamonds, but the big setback that I had was getting rid of all my iron armor. Um, that's going to take a little bit more effort, but... I'll get there eventually. So Minecraft either probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Either way, it's not a dead series, and I hope you enjoy it when it comes back. And we will destroy that another fortress, and I will get all the blaze rods. I also need to get a bunch of ender pearls, but that can come later. Also, I really need to build my house because I do not like the fact that my house is just a floor. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. Just saying. Also in the news, I got Whataburger, and Whataburger is so good. I've expressed it in the past. I expressed it in my Thanksgiving video, how I am thankful for Whataburger. And, uh, I don't, I, I still hold that statement near and dear to my heart.